In this video, how to grow house plants in integration with your aquarium. Hello! If you visited this channel before then thank you very much for coming again. And if this is your first time then please hit the subscribe button below. Because in this channel I provide useful tips, experiments and unique ideas in gardening and aquarium keeping. I planted these plants two years ago. During these two years I ignored them completely. I never gave them any kind of attention or care. I never watered them or gave them any fertilizer. The secret behind this crazy growth is having them growing in integration with the aquarium. This plant is the peace lily. I took it from the soil and I cleaned the roots to be planted in water. The other plant is the pothos, which can grow bigger leaves when grown in soil. However, it grows very long and fast in water. These plants are not grown directly inside the aquarium, but in a small box hanged on the back of the aquarium. In this setup, the water is directed from the output of the aquarium filter to the box, back to the aquarium. This box acts as an additional nitrate filter for the aquarium. Having a continuous water flow in a separated box allows the plants to absorb their needs from the water, and they grow without the need for care. This type of growing works fine for many types of plants, if not all, and it can be adjusted and adapted to different plants' root needs. I have grown many other plants in this box, including herbs and vegetables, and with a proper amount of light, the growth was amazing. This small indoor aquaponic system is a great way to increase the balance level in your aquarium and reduce the maintenance time. It can easily extend the need to change the aquarium water from one week to two weeks based on the results I got from the setup. It also provides you with zero care house plants. In a previous video, I did this nano aquarium setup, and in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to add some house plants to this system. For this setup, we will need this box. This box is simply a fish breeder box, but we will use it as a planter for the house plants. This breeder comes in the box with a water or air pump to allow the water to flow from the aquarium to the box. And the box has this overflow back in the aquarium. You may use any other container. Usually I visit the kitchenware store and look for something that can sit nicely on the tank glass. And has sort of overflow. This is an example for such requirements. And I used it in one of my setups before. The planter will be installed on the back of the aquarium, but I'm gonna show you how it works.
these plants were previously planted in soil I removed the soil and cleaned the roots and prepared them to be planted again in water in addition to the uh, water I'm gonna fill the uh, uh, planter with some rocks basically river rocks to allow the roots to uh, to be supported somehow The installation process is clear here. Uh, I'm gonna use the water pump temporarily. And as a final trick, I use the straw to direct the water from the hang on back filter to the planter directly. And this will reduce the number of equipments on the aquarium. If you like this uh, video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel to see more content like this.